Hello Cougars, I'm Julian Placencio and you're watching Cougar Paws on the CBN. And I'm Erica Garcia. Audrey Panetta is providing signing for the deaf. Today is Friday the 13th of January. That's one week down and five more to go. All students and Western Hills partners are invited to a candlelight memorial for Mr. James Wellman on the football field tonight at 6 p.m. You may bring flowers or other mementos to leave on the field and you may bring your own candle to burn. You do not have to bring anything to participate. Just your presence in honor for Mr. Wellman is good enough. If you would like to share a story about Mr. Wellman, please see Mrs. Hiller and, or Mrs. Hutchings. There are plans in effect if case of rain. If you are 16 or older and looking for a job, the Fort Worth Zoo is interested in you. They have over 100 positions open right now and pay well. Over half of the positions are in food services, which pays $10 per hour. There are other opportunities available in sales, admissions, attractions, and operations, all for over $9 per hour. If you want to apply for a weekend or weekday job, go to www.fortworthzoo.org. Hurry, because positions are being filled right now. Softball season is right upon us. The season is officially open on the January 20th. If you are interested in trying out, you have to have physical and paperwork completed and turned in by January 19th. If you are interested in playing, please go by and see Coach Amen in room 269 or Coach Resecker in room 231. This just in. Graduation will be held on June the 3rd at 3 p.m. Mark your calendar and make the grade. On the same line as graduation, the GO Center is still looking for your letters of acceptance for college, a trade school, or the military. They've been holding off on doing a mannequin challenge until they have several participants. How long do they have to wait? In the good news, bad news frame, we have this. The good news is school will be closed on Monday in observance of Martin Luther King Day. The bad news is more time for chores. Hopefully your parents will notice your home. On this day in 1794, George Washington approved the addition of two stars to the U.S. flag after Vermont and Kentucky joined the Union. After this day, a star was added each time a state joined the United States. In 1908, a wireless message was sent long distance for the first time from the Eiffel Tower in Paris. In 1966, President Lyndon B. Johnson appointed the first African-American cabinet member, making Robert C. Weaver head of the Dep Department of Housing and Urban Development in keeping with his vision for a great society. Johnson sought to improve race relations and eliminate urban blight. As many of the country's African-Americans lived in the rundown inner city areas, appointing Weaver's was Johnson's attempt to show his African-American constituency that he meant business on both counts. And finally, on a literary note, James Joyce died in 1941. James Joyce, widely regarded as Ireland's greatest author, died in Zurich, Switzerland at the age of 58. One of the most brilliant and daring writers of the 20th century, Joyce's masterpiece, Ulysses, was ranked among the greatest works in the English language. Well, Cougars, that is all we have for you today. I'm Erica Garcia. And I'm Julian Placencio, and we wish you a good day and some good news.